<laughs> I didn't have enough water last time. There's four bottles there. Three bottles. One's empty, in fairness. <clears throat> you got to stay hydrated. Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, if you have not already done so, feel free to subscribe. We upload a lot of sneaker videos. If you love sneakers, you have come to the right place. Buckets, tell them why. How many videos, how often do we upload them? Almost every single day. Almost every single day. So like I said, man, if sneakers are your thing, like they're our thing, then look, I mean, you know, it's a lot of sneakers. If I'm not here, if I'm not in this little valley of sneaker boxes, Twitter and Instagram is where you can find me, at Mr. Former Simpson. And if you enjoyed today's video specifically, particularly, then please hit that thumbs up button. It really does go a long way. Small gesture, but helps the channel continue to grow. And we appreciate you for that. The last thing I wanna mention before we dive into the sneakers is uncivilizedstore.com. Buckets was behind the camera and myself. We have a clothing brand and that is where we sell it. So all links will be in the description of this video for your convenience. Buckets, is it hot in here? Not at all, it's cold. I do got this like tied up. It does feel a little hot. Do you want to give me any words of encouragement? Something. Not really. Just dive in? Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one, bang, bang. This is the Air Jordan 3 Cardinal Red. These are set to release February 19th and retail is 200 bucks. I gotta say thank you to our people over at Kicks Are For Us. They are a local resale shop down here in the Tampa area. They tossed us this pair a little bit early. Like I always say, we do try to get you the early looks when we are able to do so, help you with your sneaker decisions and such. I think this is a really dope colorway and there's really no reason behind that buckets other than I just like the way they look. Sometimes, can it just be that simple? I think that it should always be that simple. And that's how you live your life. I try to at least. That's, but I don't know, it seems a little flawed because that led you to Crocs and questionable footwear choices what are you wearing right now oh wow you got Birkenstocks on the fancy croc the fancy croc yeah all right you're living a different kind of life I like these a lot there's no extra deep storytelling although the cardinal colorway has been a part of the Jordan line the cardinal seven buckets that's one of our favorite sevens definitely a classic look but beyond that there's nothing too wild going on there's no special details I know I know it's not a collaboration so we cannot get hyped up about it still I think they're dope. I think it's a really, really cool sneaker. Full disclosure, it is a Jordan 3, which is one of the best sneakers ever created, in my humble opinion. And it's just really hard to go wrong with this type of color blocking on a Jordan 3. You've got this almost entirely white leather upper. The majority of it is tumbled, as you can see, and it does feel pretty nice to the touch. You've got a smoother leather wrapping around the bottom of the sneaker and then this perforated panel around the ankle. Of course, you've got the classic elephant print. You've got it on the toe. You got it in the middle. You got it on the back of the sneaker. Glossy cardinal hits along the upper eyelets here. Light curry trim on the bottom eyelets. And that same light curry jump man on the tongue. I think it's a pretty nice touch. White laces, 
Cardinal Jordan logo on the heel, air underneath. And you've almost got like this silky nylon type material, we'll call it, on the interior. Buckets, is that what we're going with? Sure. Cardinal and white midsole with a little bit of that gray peeking up from the bottoms. And you've got the classic Jordan 3 outsole. Very, very iconic. Buckets, Jordan 3, one of the most iconic outsoles of all time? Maybe. I'd have to look at a list. All right. I didn't like the face you were making. It's an awesome sneaker, in my opinion. It's always nice when we get a general release like this pair, a pair that's not crazy hype, and yet you still feel really good about them. This is probably a pair I'm going to wear a lot. Personally, I have been wearing the Amma Manier 3s damn near every day at this point. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that. I mean, I got them on right now. Hang on a second here. Let me do a little... But that's... Don't show that. You can see what I've done. Can, buckets. Can no, they see can't this? see. It's out of focus. Damn. Okay. Well, I've worn the sneaker a lot. And the moral of the story is I need a new pair of Jordan 3s to insert into the rotation. So these have come right on time. If you've been tuning in for a while, then you probably remember how much I wore my black cement 3s a while back easily one of my favorite sneakers that black cement three it just hits different i have several pairs we even have an older pair hanging in the rafters down here at the workshop retirement life well earned buckets feels good you know you got the back the nike air crumbling that's how you know that's how you know they've been around the block i think these are a gem i think it's going to be a pair that ages very well and a pair that people circle back on you know buckets we see this a lot like doesn't have a ton of height, but it's a really clean, it's a really solid colorway on a really classic sneaker. And then people, they spin the block, if you will. I mean, we don't know if they're going to have hype or not, though, because it's early. It is early, but you don't think, where do you think hype builds? Think it's right on release? No, beforehand. I mean, I think these are going to, like, sell out for sure. I think they'll probably sell out, but I don't think they're going to have a lot of resale value. I think it is a GR, and I just don't see many people talking about them where, you know take any collaboration take you know anything that kanye's doing or travis scott or just any of these different hyped up sneakers and you know union la i'm not saying that these are necessarily as good as every one of those um like i still do prefer the i'm um, um, threes over these absolutely okay but i'm just saying it's here's what i'll say i think they deserve more attention than what they're currently getting I agree with that. But you're right. We'll see what happens when they release. I do think they will sell out as well because it is. It's just a very, very good looking sneaker. Man. So, you know, we got to make it official. How good are these? You know, we got to put a number on it. Scale of one to 10. I'm going to give these a 8.8 .8 out of 10. Very solid for all the reasons that I just listed. You know, this is like, this is the summary. This is the conclusion. You know, English class, you write the paper, you have your thesis statement, and then you support it, support it, support it, and then boom, the closer. Okay. So that was my closer. 8.8? 8.8. Nice. Your turn. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. I think they're awesome. You love them. Very, very good. You love them, you love them. Okay, cool. I, I didn't put my sneaker back on, so it feels a little awkward sitting here, but wow. Good scores from us on this one. Leave a comment below. Let us know how do you feel about these? How do you feel about the Jordan 3? How do you feel about this colorway specifically? Where does it stack up, you know, with some of the other Jordan 3s? There was a time a few years ago where we got a ton of Jordan 3s. And then remember, Jordan brand came out and was like, yo, we're putting the Jordan 3 in the vault. We're going to shelf them for a little while. And now, obviously, they've come back. Yeah, with the remastered. That was when they remastered it. Exactly. I'm excited about these. Let us know how you feel. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Buckets. What am I talking like Bane? That was nothing like Bane. Buckets. Buckets. No. I was born in the darkness. There you go. Buckets. Nah. Your mullet sucks. False. And Birkenstocks are not good. False again. We out of here? Yep. Adios.